What is going on, Falafel? Here we are through four weeks of the season, the quarter mark for uh, teams that played, I guess, this week uh, for real football. We are getting closer and closer to halfway through the regular season of the old fantasy football season. So as I start talking about way too early every year, got to start turning shit around if you're like me and one in three in Falafel, time to get a move on. So we are going to go over week four awards and then preview the matchups for week five. So let's get right into it. First up, as always, high as a kite award. This week goes to Wally Central. He scores 169.1 points. Holy shit. Even with Benjamin Watson only scoring 2.8 points, he had seven of his nine starters in double digits with 98.1 points combined from Andrew Luck, Kamara, and DeAndre Hopkins just by themselves. So impressive outing all around for one Mr. Wally Central. Sloppiest girl in the bar goes to L-Dog this week with 52.1 points. My God, that's embarrassing. 72% scored by two players. You had negative two points combined from your four lowest scoring players. You had a quarterback that started his game and finished his game, scored zero points. That's impressive. I don't know how you did it, but keep it up. Who let you in? This one goes to KS44 for, I believe, the second week in a row. A 53.8 point drubbing over Zapped. Michael Thomas was his lowest scorer. That tells you everything you need to know about how his team is doing right now. Uh, it's doing pretty good. 4-0, I believe. The baddest bench this week goes to Corey, leaving 100 points on his bench this week. You had James White, TJ Yeldon, and Jared Goff, all with 21 or more points. Jared Goff being the high man there with 39.3 points. Pretty good showing all around for that bench there, Corey. Tighter than a crab's vagina. This week goes to Brooksy with a 7.1 point victory over Eagles Nation. I'm sure everybody was watching as Case Keenum missed a wide open Demarius Thomas that would have scored a touchdown, would have won the game for Denver, would have won the game for Eagles Nation. But alas, Keenum is not very good and that did not end up happening. So we move along. Two, milk was a bad choice. I could not find a winner for this award this week. If I missed it, fuck you, I'm sorry. And if I didn't miss it, that's because I'm the best. Thank you. And the fucking Chuck Norris Award this week goes to Corey with 139.5 points. He would have beaten 13 of us, but alas, his opponent scored more points than he did. So we look forward to week five. We've got 4-0 Shy Ruxin going up against the aforementioned 2-2 two two Corey. We've got 4-0 KS44 going up against 2-2 two two Gigi. We've got 3-1 Brooksy going up against 1-3 one, one Little Indian. 2-2 two two Wally Central versus 2-2 two two Slime Suckin' Hogs. 2-2 two two Hype versus 2-2 two two Beatapoo. 2-2 two two Sal versus 1-3 Yale Dog. 2-2 two two Eagles Nation versus 1-3 Geo. And then the Toilet Bowl match of the week features myself at 1-3 up against Zapped at 1-3. So good luck to everybody but Zapped this weekend. And uh, I will see you maybe next week. I've got a baby due on Monday, and I will be at the hospital up until Wednesday. So if I do not get a video up next week, I apologize. Bigger things going on right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to do my damnedest. All right. I will talk to you when I talk to you. Peace.